Hola, we're here gonna try this one more time. Take two, uh, paint with me live faux marble. So, again, today well, what we're doing is we're gonna create this faux marble finish. See how pretty that looks? All that is is a random piece of wood. But on this side, it looks like Carrera marble. And it looks really good if I do say so myself. So what you're gonna need is an Annie Sloan white. I used pure. Um, but you can also use old white or original. Annie Sloan graphite is what's going to create your veins. So you can also use Athenian black, but I can tell you that I prefer the softer black, which is graphite. It just looks better in the end. I used this brush, Annie Sloan uh, round brush, medium size, to paint the top of my surface with my white. You will also need two detail brushes. I'm using Annie Sloan's, of course. You're going to need a larger one. You want to put that closer, Jameson? You're going to need a larger one and a fine tip one. Both of these are very important. You need them both, as well as a chip brush uh, with softer ends, which I just use a regular chip brush and then pounce the heck out of it until the ends are kind of splayed out like so you can see that splay a spray thing of water which you sh honestly i use this so much you should really just have one of these on hand um they are the greatest tool when working with this paint and then last but not least a few rags that you're gonna to need to offload your brush with one and dab with the other, so rags. Anyways, you wanna come over here and you'll see. I started this in the last video, but I didn't want to make you guys sit there and wait for dried paint, uh, ugh, I cannot talk, sorry, for paint to dry. So all this is is pure white. It has just now dried to the touch um, da -da 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 -da. so that's where we need it to be. You need it to be in a place where it has just dried. Um, again, this is pure white. It's dry to the touch, but it only just barely. Now is where all the magic begins. You're going to take your larger detail brush, this one. Yeah, you're going to need to hold that and go in between because I, yeah. Sorry, we're kind of learning as we go through here. So I have my little thing of paint here. This is the lid from the can. You really don't need much. And we're going to start with the larger detail brush. Um, these are the Annie Sloan detail brushes. They are the bee's knees when it comes to this stuff. I have had these forever, and they still look like I just bought them. Um, they are really, really, really good. Ooh, side note, please leave me, leave me a comment and let me know where you guys are watching from. That's always super fun. And also, if you have any questions um, or whatever, leave them on, in the comments during the video or after the video if you're watching it on replay. Um, and we will do our best to get them answered. So, I suggest when doing this, you do not go in the direction of wood, which would be, for instance, left to right or up and down. You want to break that visual. So I'm going to start in my top left corner here, and I'm going to work my way across diagonally. Now, you want to hold this brush by the very tip, like so. And you kind of want to let it do all of the work. That's what's going to create these natural looking veins. And I'm also gonna tell you guys this, when you see this, it changes a lot. So when I first do this, you're gonna be like, whoa, what in the world is going on here? Just know that in the end, it'll be beautiful. So, like I said, I have a little bit of graphite on the end. And because I have my, um, I want this whole top to look like marble, I'm actually gonna start over here on this edge. And I'm going to start here and kind of stab that in there a little bit. 
and then this is where it gets real. And you kind of just spin the brush while holding it on the edge. And there we go. It's line one. Pretty simple so far, huh, Jameson? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that again on the same line. Because I need it to be a little more pronounced. But again, I'm not doing anything perfect. All totally random. You want to pan over here? So what I'm actually going to do, because I'm noticing that this paint, I've had this open for a minute, so it's quite dry. I'm going to scoop me a little bit there, and I'm going to water it down. Oh yeah, big difference. Okay. Now we'll come back. Oh yeah, look at that. And I just kind of filled that line in a little bit. So now we need to choose another area. I want, I'm thinking we'll start one here, but we'll kind of go a little more straight across until we connect with this vein. What are your thoughts? Yeah. That's very marbly. Again, I'm starting over here on my edge. And then you just hold by the very tip, spin the brush, and move your hand. Let it do the work. Let it make uh, thick spots. Let it make thin spots. And we're going to just kind of connect them veins right there. Ah, okay. <laughs> do we want another vein or is that enough? Maybe one more in the very corner. But coming in this way? No, I was thinking more like important, like... I don't. I think I want one that starts here. And it kind of works its way in. No, you do. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where we've got so far. Jameson, if you can, get closer, please. Thank you. So now it's time for our rag. Like I said, it looks crazy right now, but I promise, give it, just give me a minute, you'll see. It'll become magical. You want your rag and you want to go through and you want to blot. Woohoo! That's already kind of dry. I'm gonna spritz. A little bit of water. See how I'm kind of, it's uh, it's smearing around the um, edges? You want that, believe it or not. So what you're doing is you're now going through and you're blotting like crazy to soften these lines.
Julie asks, so would it be better to blot as you go? Every time I've done it, I've always done it after I have finished do it creating my veins. But I also haven't had... When I've done it previously, I haven't had to stop and explain it or talk or do this or do that. So it's usually much faster. Um, but definitely give it a try. The whole key here is you want this dirtiness that's around the white. Come closer. And Jameson's going to try and get closer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want that dirtiness that's around the white. Okay. Now, if you want to just let these legs out, Jameson, that's probably better. Because it needs to be pretty close. Okay. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy spray bottle here and I am going to spritz the top of this pretty good. Do you know what? I want another vein. Voila, another vein you have. Right. So like I said, you want to spritz the top of this. Ooh, my bottle's almost out of water. And I mean, you want it to be pretty good. And then you want to let it sit for just a few moments so that the water kind of absorbs into this layer of pure white um, and loosens it up a little bit. But at the same time, you, do, you don't really want it soaked. And I've got a few soaked areas. Now it's time for the chip brush that you bashed into splayed out craziness. And you're going to kind of dry brush and drag all around every direction. Every direction is key. Very, very important. And you're not scrubbing it, you're just dry brushing it around softening up those lines. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you get your edges as well. Because all in all, what's going to happen is it's gonna kind of dirty up this bright white and you want it all to be relatively the same color.
Alright. about these one thing about these chip brushes is all these stupid little bristles okay so smoothing that out kind of evening it all out I have lightened up those veins quite well all right now it's time for the fine pointed detail brush. You want to turn it this way? All right. So I've got my graphite and water mixture right here on my work table. Can you see that, Jameson? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to get a little bit on the end of my fine point and I'm kind of going to go through and retrace out these veins. Again, the ends of the brush, the very ends of the brush, turning it as you go. If your brush, if your chip brush is super wet, now might be a time to use one of your cloths to try and offload some of this paint. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. Come through and brush it every which direction to try and soften it.
I mean, think of all of the pieces you could do. All of the places you could put marble. Right. All right. Ashley asked if it's possible to do black with white lines. Yes. It's the exact same thing, just invert the colors. Exact same thing. Now again, if you have an edge like me, make sure that you don't forget about that bit and you're blending everything into that as well. See here, I didn't take this all the way down, so I'm just gonna come through, and add me a little bit of vein there, come back with my tip brush. I'm gonna kind of dab that. Teresa says, this is awesome. I've been wanting to do this. Maybe my countertops on my new house. Maybe, hey. Sure, a whole lot cheaper than having <laughs> than having actual marble put in. I think it'd be nice on a floor. Ooh, me too. Super bougie. <clears throat> well, my thing on this is all of the pieces that I've had where the tops are toasted and like I have that really pretty like late 1800s dresser in one of the back rooms of the store that originally had marble on the top but the top it got cracked and broken in half um, now I can go through replace the top with a piece of wood and do this and it still has its marble yeah but all in all I'd say we're pretty we're pretty much done If you want to come out any, if you can, so you can get the whole thing in there. I'm just going to take this off for one second. Yeah. So, that's our full marble top. Super easy to do. It didn't take us very long. Um, besides the random technical difficulty we had on our first attempt at a video at 12.30. Um, now what you would do is, ooh, it's still wet. Not stick your hand on it. Do I have any fingerprints I gotta fix? Yes, I do. Okay, wait for it to dry before you touch it. Um, but you want to you want to let it dry, and then I'm going. I would suggest suggest clear wax. Um, so when this is dry, I will put a coat of clear wax on it, and tomorrow I'll put another coat of clear wax on it just for that extra level of durability and I'll polish it up really nice and it'll look like marble. It'll have the sheen of marble. It has the, the different dimensions of veining that marble has. And it took like 20 minutes and it's done. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a live where I do the base of this, but honestly it's gonna be really quite basic. I'm gonna paint the, paint the base of it black um, and then dry brush it with some white or some gray on the applique areas. Um, so, if that interests you, keep an eye out. Um, the way things are going, I might have a whole lot of free time, so may as well do some live. Um, as always, leave me a comment. Let me know where you guys watched from, even if you're in Clovis or Portales. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely leave them. I'm happy to answer them um, and share with your friends. It's great. Bye.